those years ago. The child in the forest was you. You are not alone. Only give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. You were just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. <gasps> Father. Connor. Any last words? Wait. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? That should suffice. 
Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The Father of Understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. It's locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like. And she and I stayed together. How is she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry? I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Those two! Get them! Don't let them escape! Get him! It's the Indian too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Surround them! Where is Church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. <laughs> you promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. Get out of here. You don't say. Good. 
Does your goal do you now? See if you can find something to pry it open. Connor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side! We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly if we're to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. Welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. chance at this. It's 
almost as though you want him to escape. She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the appeal is too big to follow. We need to go around. God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance.
What has Church done with the cargo? through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them, anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the... Enough! We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Supplies you stole. <laughs> Go to hell. Ah! I ask again. Where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond. A waiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? Who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands? How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes. As though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path for life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. How dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ, and would not be. You did well. This passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me or Surrey. What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor, but there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father. 
Haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Aethem may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. We need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? It'll help here. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go.
Move. Go to hell. I said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't. We just come have in some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I am a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. We should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command! A warning to you both! Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you.
I should make sure the village is safe. Radun Hagedun Zashewe Next ye Ohnu Jera What Ganu Dunyu Hue Dogati Ga Oya Rungwe Ayazene Sege Unka Giga Oya Rungwe De Ohne Gujes Charles Lee Luana Dukwa Yasagoya Donhawe Ganot Dogu Dano Dokara Ni Hardi Nahoda Got no in Yahoneno. What de Sagodi Dashtana Tini Hardi Ayunki Hunta Ya, ya te tkari huayeri. Ona jera di deza ni kuhare. Ya kon ta deza du hundoni ne giga ne ayagwa derio. Ona ti aschaga ne ke don ta hunda ke daste. ガナガナドゴ。ラドナゲドン。ラワセタネコ。ナホダ。クエゴンハクロリネチャールズリー。バトリオトデオナドンゾニアユキアワント。ダノガンイーゼアセイエノワアゼ。アトガティガロンゴ
should slow them down. We'll push these red coats back yet. We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape.
Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. Where are you, Charles? Gone. 